Right, so today we're going to be talking about one of my favourite fish, which is the Malawi Eye Biter. Before we carry on, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We've got loads coming up. We're doing a planted tank upstairs as well, a full CO2 system. So we're going to be reaching into different areas of the fish world. Um, but stay tuned for this one. We'll talk a little bit more about this fish. Right, let's crack on with this. So, the Midiochromis compressiceps, aka the Malawi eye biter, by far one of my favourite Malawi cichlids to keep. A lot of people when I, don't really tend to keep these in the tanks, and I think they're put off by the name of the fish. So, people hear eye biter and they're instantly like, mm, I, I don't want to put that in with my other beautiful fish. My eyes! Don't be put off by the name. I've kept this fish multiple times. I've had about five of them in the past. Never have I had any issues with them. Where they get the name from, eye biter, is they are a type of hap, and they're a predatory hap. And according to research online, they tend to attack the eyes first. So when they ambush prey, they go for the eyes, and that's how they take them down. Ah! I have never witnessed that, ever. A whole, over the whole amount of time I've been keeping these fish, I've never seen this fish attack eyes of other fish. It, it's just something I don't believe happens. Maybe it's something that does in the wild, but I think these are quite regularly captive bred. So I don't think it's an issue that a lot of people are gonna run into in the tank at home. We'll start with aggression with this fish. So all, out of all the ones I've had, I've never had any problems. I've kept them in full hap setups. I've kept them with peacock cichlids. And I've never had one of these fish give another fish a hard time. Yeah, this one I've got, it does assert dominance. It does chase other fish around. But all these fish do. You're going to get that with African cichlids. It's nothing out of the ordinary where I would turn around and warn people, oh, you need to be at a certain level. You need to really be careful what you're doing if you're gonna keep these fish, um, because you don't. I mean, you've got to have some sort of understanding of how to keep a fish tank. But if you're comfortable with African cichlids and you know what you're doing, just get one. Don't be put off by the name, the relatively chilled fish. What I will say one thing is to consider when you are thinking of keeping this fish, is the tank size so me personally i do think you need if you're thinking of keeping this fish for a long time you do need something that's about five to six foot in length because they, they are haps so they typically get typically get quite big usually around 25 to 30 centimeters is the adult size for a male so make sure you've got enough room in your tank will also help with any potential aggression levels as well if that fish is in a comfortable place and it's happy. Um, and then also you'll get better coloration out of it if there's less stress and it's in a good environment for it as well. Right, so let's get on to my favourite bit about this fish, which is the appearance. So, what makes these fish so good is that they're, they're very different from your other African cichlids. So African cichlids are typically look quite similar. So all your peacocks look very same body shape. Haps tend to be more or less the same body shape as well. Whereas the, the eye biter just stands out from the crowd. So I've got a typically good example of this fish in my tank. So he's still quite early on in his adult life. So he's got a lot of growing and developing to do. But they have this long, sleek, torpedo-like body. They have the, the blue hues running all along the body as well. And then they have this big blue, metallic blue face. Um, and then they have these beautiful dorsal fins. So, and on the bottom as well, on the anal fin too, where they have this fluorescent orange edge all the way along it and they just look they just really stand out and look so different 
to the other African cichlids, which is why it's one of my favourite fish. Um, they like the the body shape and everything. I like the sports car of African cichlids. It's like a, the Lamborghini of the fish. Really cool looking fish. So the one I've got in here is quite a dominant one. And you can tell that by his coloration. He's got some predominant egg spots on the bottom fin. Um, but they can come in a variety of different colors. So you can get these in orange blotch, OB. Um, you might already be aware, I'm not a massive fan of OB cichlids, but you do have that option, and some of them can look quite cool. Um, and then you can also get them quite often as albinos as well. So your pink, whitish body with your red eyes, which I do quite like because it gives that feeling of you've got a bit of rare, something rare in your tank, so like a rare species. Um, it gives it that feeling when it's in your tank, so they're pretty cool as well. But as far as appearance goes, they're so unique and the top of the class for appearance for me with African cichlids. Just be mindful as well, if you, when you're buying this fish, if you're thinking about purchasing it in a shop, they're not always showing their full adult coloration when you get them from the shop because you're typically going to find them in a juvenile stage. So when they're juvenile, they still have this torpedo look. You know, the long jaws, which is where they get the compressor seps genre from. Um, but they're, ten they, 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 they're not very colourful at a juvenile state. They're just like a silver torpedo. But if, you, if you're thinking of getting them at that time, just make sure you can sex it with the egg spots. You know you're getting a male. Um, and then you can put it into your tank. And then as it develops, it will start to, if it's happy, then it will start to show these hues and this nice coloration that you can see on my one here. Right, we'll talk a little bit about tank mates, so what you can put in with these fish. Now, if I'm going to give you some good advice um, and sort of tell you to go and do something, what I would say is, if you're going to keep these fish, keep them in a HAP-only display for minimal risk, um, and then that's going to be the best sort of setup you can have for the Malawi eye biter. However, that being said, I have kept them, not just with cats, but with peacock cichlids as well, several times, and I've never had any issues with the fish. So, they have got this reputation of being an aggressive fish, but all the times I've kept them, I've never witnessed it. I don't know if it's a um, something that's been carried over from these when they've been wild caught and put into tanks, but... They're, they're quite, they're, they're captive bred now. I mean, all cichlids have them aggressive tendencies and you are going to get the odd ones that are going to go mad and start killing everything. That, that will happen. But five out of five for the amount of times I've had these fish where I've had no issues, um, you know, that's some strong research for me. So I'm quite happy to keep these fish with peacocks as well. What I will say is make sure they're the same size so don't get tiny little peacocks with a big eye buyer because they're predatory and that can cause problems. But all my fishing here are relatively the same size. Yeah, the eye bite is dominant and he does chase other things around like everything does in this tank. But I've never really had real issues keeping them with peacock cichlids either. I wouldn't keep them with umbunas because at the end of the day, I think the umbunas will take this fish down if they want to. Um, but... I've never had problems with the eye buyer killing or attacking or being overly aggressive to other fish. So peacocks and haps, yes, favorably just a hat tank. Right, so these are all your water parameters for this fish. You should already know these by now if you've watched a few of the videos or you're keeping African cichlids, you should be well aware what your water parameters should be. Um, and then obviously with any African cichlid you need to make sure you've got some good filtration on your tank some a lot of biological filtration because like any other African cichlid these are messy fish they eat a lot they poo a lot they're big so you need to make sure you're on top of your filtration you're on top of your water changes and your tank maintenance as well as far as the fish's habitat goes Lake Malawi 
they tend to inhabit open water areas um, but they do like little caves and crevices as well so I know this one likes to hold a couple of places in the rocks um, they're ambush predators so they all have almost like like a pike behavior where they can hide in vegetation or in little caves and stuff but keep your tanks you have a couple of rocks in there keep it to a minimum leave them with a lot of open water uh, and then you shouldn't have any issues and the fish should still be happy and comfortable as well so your diet for this fish is fairly straightforward um, the carnivores so predatory haps so you want to be feeding them things like your frozen brine shrimp frozen krill high quality cichlid pellets um, and then your carnivore pellets as well vitalis do a good carnivore pellet which i feed these fish a lot krill flakes so give them a mixed batch make sure it's protein based food because that's particularly what their diet consists of i will give the odd bit of spirulina here and there i feed them typically twice a day so once in the morning once at night it keeps the fish's belly full uh, and then you're going to get the best coloration and the best behavior out of that fish because they're getting a good mixed bag of nutrients right so to conclude is this a good fish to get yes 10 out of 10 fish for me um the you have lots of fun watching them develop they stand out among the pack so they really are a centerpiece fish you get beautiful colors out of them you can get different varieties of them um, the behavior from my experience has been top notch so never had any issues with them never had them hurt or kill any other fish I'm not saying you're not going to have that experience you could have that with any african cichlid but like i said i've kept this fish a lot of times because it is one of my favorites and i've never had any problems with it so it's definitely one you should get it's definitely one to add to the collection but just make sure that you've got a big enough tank to house it.